Anne from Tango Space, where we help men and women in London and in Paris to move better, express themselves, dance elegantly and meet friendly people with our tango lessons. In this video, we want to do something very special. We want to speak with you about the embrace and help you have a very comfortable embrace that feels very nice for your partner. So yeah, this is a very important uh, thing. Yes, embrace is something that even if you are a beginner or an advanced person, you know, if you have a nice embrace, you may, your partner should feel good and you will enjoy much more. Even if you don't do much steps, but you know, with a nice embrace, it's, a, it's really much more enjoyable to dance. So, tip number one is make sure that you keep your head in the right place. So there are a few things that we see with the head and in order for the embrace to feel good and to feel connected and comfortable for your partner, your head needs to be um, relatively still and not to prevent them to feel comfortable in their embrace. So often we see a few things, like we see this here. So I know it's very tempting to look at the, at the feet uh, and what is happening down or to feel very, it helps to feel really into your partner's embrace but here I am pushing him so for him it's not comfortable so I need to make sure that my embrace is, my head is straight if I need to go a little bit towards him that's okay but not too much Another thing about the head that is important and that we often see in the circular movements and especially in the ochos is the head moving with the direction of the dance so if I am doing ochos, my head if I am doing ochos, my head stays here. My head doesn't go here, and here, and here, and here, yes? You might have seen the leg moving in tango scenario, tango shows, that's fine because it's, it's a tango show, but this is not what we want when we are dancing uh, in Milonga because we want to make sure that our partner feels comfortable and knows where our head is so that he or she can position himself. This is also for the leaders, yes, the, the position of the head is very, very important uh, because what is going to help uh, to keep our balance is to keep our head in our axis, yes, if, if we bring our head forward or to the side, uh, it's a very common mistake, especially in the hero, when we are leading heroes, that we go, we go with, the, with the intention and our head, you know, of axis to turn, for example. And that will, it will create a lot of unbalance in the dance. So we want to keep always our head in the same line with our spine. Yes, that is going to not, not to feel better in, in the embrace only, if not that is going to help you in general for all your, your dancing and to have more balance. So tip number two is that you want to embrace from your back. So what we see, we see two common mistakes in terms of the arms and the embrace, which is either dancing here with, without much power um, um, in the arms, floppy arms, or if there is power in the arms, embracing from the arms here, raising the, the elbows and, and going here. So this is uncomfortable for your partner and also it's a shame for you because it prevents you from being really powerful and, and uh, active in your dissociation and all of your pivoting. So men and women, what we want is really to remember that the abrazo, the embrace is a hug, it's abrazo. So we, when we hug, we have this idea of the whole body going towards our partner here, not just the arms going towards our partner. So what we recommend that you do is that maybe you can imagine that here you have like a beach ball or something, a, a big round balloon in, in your arms here and you have like um, there in your, in your arms in front of your heart and then all you need to do is to open your right ha hand if you are a lady, open your left hand if you are a man and that is your tango embrace. So the tango embrace starts from here, not just here, it's from the back and not just from the arms. Uh, so this, uh, this idea that uh, Anne was just saying you know, about the dancing uh, more embracing with the back is also for the leaders and what we want is, is yeah, the intention of the embrace when you go towards to your partner with intention not just with the arms yes? so it's very important for both for followers and for leaders And the last tip, the third tip, is to make sure that you keep the alignment of your shoulders. So men and women, we often see the shoulder in the close side of the embrace coming forward. 
uh, for the ladies often it translates into this an embrace here that goes towards the partner with the arms and the shoulder follows so your arm goes wherever you want it to go no problem it's a it's a style just make sure that even if you want your arm to go up it doesn't have an impact on your shoulder your shoulder stays aligned on the hips so if i want to bring my arm up i will do like this not like this hope that makes sense and it's the same for the left hand no, the right shoulder of the man okay. yeah so <laughs> it's very common that we we have the tendency when we're going to the embrace to go forward with the shoulder yes um, it's, it's okay, it's, it's about the style, yes? so if you want to dance a bit more milonga style or, or you are dancing milonga, sometimes it can work, that embrace. But if you, if you want to walk more, if you are dancing something more elegant and you want to, to walk and to be more comfortable in the embrace, what we want is to, to keep the shoulders in alignment. Yes? So basically we want, we want to find equal, equal uh, uh, contact and equal um, pressure in both sides of, of the chest of the follower because if, if I go forward, forward with my shoulder I will be pushing her only with this side I will, I will be sending her back only from this side and then it's, it's going to create a lot, a lot of unbalance in the dance yeah? so yes, remember to keep the alignment yes, and, and walk with, this with the shoulders parallel to the floor so we really hope that this is helpful to make your dancing more pleasant and more enjoyable in your milongas. Don't forget, as Pablo always says, that what matters is the embrace and the connection, not the steps. So yes, uh, to find you know, a comfortable embrace and to be comfortable in the dance, you know, it will make a big difference uh, and you will enjoy much more your, your tangos. Yes. Um, if you like this video, if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it and share it with your friends. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We share weekly video tips to help make your dancing more connected, more playful, more enjoyable. If you are in London or in Paris, we teach group and weekly lessons and group and private lessons there and workshops and, and retreats and all of these good things. So don't hesitate to join us if you want us, us to help you. We also have a really exciting tango connection and musicality retreat coming up in October where we are going to go much deeper into how to feel independent but also connected and have self-expression in the embrace, how to work on the music, how to be more um, with the music and in the flow of the dancing with your partner. If you're interested, we will put the link to sign up in the comments below so you can um, maybe join us. We hope you do. And especially... Please, keep learning and keep sharing your dancing because the world of tango needs your embrace. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.